I'm gonna make a drink. But not just any drink. I'm gonna make a drink invented by a robot. If you haven't heard of ChatGPT yet, it's an AI that will do pretty much anything you want. Which sounds scary, but not when it's making cocktails. I asked the robot to come up with a respectful cocktail from scratch. And this is what it came up with. It says, here's a respectful cocktail you can try at home. Starts with gin, one and a half ounces of gin. I'm gonna use a Japanese gin because it's so good. It's got me wrapped around its little finger. A half ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice. A half ounce of simple syrup. My only worry with this is that it wasn't gonna be able to make a balanced cocktail. For those unaware, balance is probably the most important thing in cocktail making. Basically, how do you get all of these ingredients into one drink and not have any of the ingredients outdo the others? It's a skill which takes a long time to master. Sometimes even the best mixologists struggle. So when I saw that the robot asked me to put blue curacao into the drink, I got skeptical. But the proof is in the pudding and I'm yet to taste the pudding. Maraschino liqueur which is a cherry liqueur, and finally some absinthe. Now we were talking about balance. Because absinthe is so strong, usually just spraying the glass with it is enough. So I'm curious as to what a quarter of an ounce does. There are cocktails with a lot of absinthe in them. They're just very rare and very hard to get right. And that's it. Add ice to your shaker, as always. Even if the robot doesn't say to do it. One scoop of regular ice, one big boy. Liquid into ice, very blue. Bit of a slam, start slow, feel the pressure, suctions itself together, and then we really just go for it. Now's a good time to mention that I'm scared of the future. Break that seal. Now it says to serve it in a martini glass. A martini glass would be way too big for this drink. And I also don't own any. Because they're awful little receptacles. I'm a coop boy every day of the week. Pop your strainer on a double strain. Very blue. Before we garnish that with the suggested garnishes, we'll clean up a little bit. Because even robots are respectful in this house. It says to garnish with a lime twist or a cherry if desired. I desire a lime from the sky. Lime twists are pretty rare in cocktails because the oils are very bitter. But hey, I'm pretty sure we legally have to do what the robot says. That's what I think the robot looks like. A cool dead guy with headphones. Now the AI even named this cocktail and it named it the respectful. Pretty presumptive, we'll see. Hey cheers. It's actually pretty good. Not perfect. By any means. What it's done is used ingredients that can be very chemically, like the blue curacao and the maraschino liqueur. So it has a bit of an artificial aftertaste. Fuck. Artificial intelligence. I'm gonna leave this one here. No, I, I like it. I love it. I love it. It's a, ta it's a really tasty cocktail. I'm just so, f I'm so full. I came having had. Good evening. I've got glasses on, but that doesn't mean I'm smart. Like I'm not, I'm, you shouldn't, I should stay alive probably.